what's in here. It's pretty heavy too. Oh look, there's a gift tag. Let's read it. To Jocelyn and Grace, just a few of my favorite things to make slime. Happy holidays from Everything Nim. Oh my goodness, this was sent to me from Everything Nim. She's like one of my favorite YouTubers. I love watching her videos. They're just so fun to watch. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to unbox this. Jessalyn, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share with you another Elmer's What If video. I just received this package in the mail today and guess who sent it to me? Everything Nim! Oh my gosh, I'm still freaking out inside right now. Like, Everything Nim? She's one of my favorite YouTubers and most of you guys are probably familiar with her. So thank you Everything Nim for sending me this. I'm so excited to unbox this with all of you. So let's get started. All right, let's see what's in here. What if you got the gift of slime this holiday? <gasps> Whoa! We have some pink metallic glue. Blue metallic glue. Let's see. <gasps> Glitter glue! My favorite type of glue. <laughs> and it's pink. Wow, these are some awesome glue colors. Okay, let's see what else is in here. <gasps> Whoa! Foam beads. So there's orange, pink, I wonder if there's more. And these colorful foam beads. You guys, look at these charms! They're so cute! There's like mermaids, a whale, starfishes. I'm really excited to make this slime. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Clay to make butter slime. Whoa, and look at these. These are like iridescent pearl beads. More clay to make more butter slime. This one's like a, a pink color, like a pastel pink color. Ooh, look, some more embellishments. These are like really colorful seashells. All right, I'm just gonna take all of this out. <laughs> Whoa, more glitter glue. It's like a blue color, kind of reminds me of the sea. That's probably the theme of the slime. Because we have like seashells and then like a bunch of sea animal charms. Perfect. Whoa, what is this? I've never seen this before. This is so cool. This could be used as beach sand or something. We can make like a pink beach type of slime. Glitter. There's like four containers full of glitter. It's so shimmery. Mermaid tails? Whoa. More glitter! You can never have enough glitter. Oh look! And then there's like these little containers full of glitter too. That's so cool! Let's see what else is in here. More foam beads. It's like a nice purplish color. More glue! Purple glitter glue. And look! Magical liquid! This is what we use to activate our slime, but I've never seen it in like such a small bottle. So cute! Whoa, what is this? Crunchy slime activator. So this is activator too, just like the magical liquid, but instead there's foam beads in it. I've never seen anything like that. I'm excited to try this out. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Shaving cream to make fluffy slime. The rest of the stuff in the box is just more magical liquid. Here's an overview of everything in the box. I can see why Nim included these color glues. She loves pastel colors. So we have mint blue, pink, and purple. She really likes cute animals too. And we have these adorable sea creature embellishments. I'm really excited to use these for our slime. Her favorite slime to make is butter slime, which is why we have some clay. I'm totally feeling the sea themed vibe going on and I already have an idea of what I want to create with some of these supplies. Let's get started. Alright, I've picked out the supplies we'll need to make our first batch. Our slime is going to be a beachy ocean theme, so we have our clear blue glitter glue and this is going to resemble our ocean. Some pink sand for our beach, embellishments to decorate, 
our magical liquid to activate our slime, this container to put everything all together, and my mixing bowl and spatula. Let's start off by pouring our glue into our bowl. I'm gonna try and get every last drop in here. Whoa. Look at the color, it's so pretty. This is such a pretty color blue. It's so sparkly. This definitely resembles the ocean. Our next step is to activate our slime using the magical liquid. However, the instruction says to pour a teaspoon at a time, but since it's in this small bottle, I'm gonna pour little by little until it reaches our desired consistency. And then I'm gonna stir. Our slime hasn't formed yet. It's kind of forming right now, but I'm gonna pour a little more activator into our slime. And keep stirring. You'll know when it's at the right consistency once it starts to retract from the bowl. Our slime is forming pretty well actually, so now I'm going to go in with my hands and knead it. We don't need any more activator. Keep kneading until it isn't too sticky anymore. Keep in mind that even though our clear slime doesn't look clear right now, while we were making it, it formed a lot of air bubbles, so once you let it settle for about a day or two, the air bubbles will go away and it'll become more translucent. Isn't this so cool? Whoa. with the way our slime feels right now so I'm just gonna put it back in the bowl and set up everything so that we can put it in our container starting off with our sand I'm gonna put it on the bottom and put some of the embellishments on the bottom too what's cool about the sand it's like kind of like I don't know how to explain it but it's really cool it isn't like real sand I don't want to pour too much in here but just enough to cover the bottom all right we have our sand in here and now i'm gonna pack it down oh i just remembered that i have these chunky glitters so i'm gonna put it in our slime and then afterwards i'm gonna put in these beads starting off with the purple chunky glitter i'm gonna pour a little bit then to mix you just keep folding your slime over and then knead again Look at how pretty these pastel beads are. I'm just gonna pour like a third of it in our slime. Our beads got a little lost in our slime, but again, don't worry because once it settles and all the air bubbles go away, then you'll be able to see the beads. I'm gonna pour a little more beads into our container. These little beads kind of resemble bubbles in the sea. Okay, so I've taken half of my slime and put it in the container so that I can put the embellishments and seashells, everything else in here. I'm gonna start off with the seashells. Now I'm gonna take out some of these really cute sea creature embellishments. Look at this mermaid, isn't it so pretty? And I'm putting these sea creatures onto the sides because once I put in the other half of the slime, you'll be able to see it so it won't get lost. Okay, I think we're good. Now I'm gonna put the other half inside. Then let's add some pretty mermaid tails. Let's add more glitter and some of these beads. All right, and we're done. This turned out so gorgeous. Here is our sea beachy themed slime. Look at the mermaids. Aren't they so pretty? Moving on to our next batch of slime, I'm gonna make a pink butter foam themed slime. So we have our pink metallic glue, our magical liquid, some foam beads, our pink clay to make the butter slime, our clear container, 
my bowl, and a spatula. Okay, so we're gonna pour out all of the glue, and we're gonna try and empty out as much as we can. Whoa, this metallic pink color looks really cool. Okay, now it's time to activate our slime with the same magical liquid. Again, just pour little by little. And stir. Isn't this such a pretty color of pink? Whoa, look at it. Let's mix in the clay. I'm gonna put in half of our clay. There we go. And now it's time to mix. This is my favorite part. You're gonna keep kneading until it's evenly mixed into your slime. It might feel sticky at first, but just keep kneading. This is looking really good. Butter slime is so much fun to play with. It's really thick and like, it's just fun to touch. Let's add our foam beads. Whoa. This is so much fun. Time to mix. Whoa. It. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Special thanks to everything known for sending me that amazing mystery box. I had so much fun making these two slimes. And you guys, let me know in the comments down below out of these two, which one was your favorite? I like both of them. I'm so excited for the holidays because I love the holidays. I love spending time with my family, decorating together, drinking hot chocolate, listening to joyful music, and watching Christmas movies. Bonus, receiving gifts, and giving gifts. Speaking of giving gifts, Elmer's had sent me a box inspired by me and I'm so excited to give it to a fellow influencer and they had also sent me an extra one to give to a friend so that's like super exciting don't forget to like this video and follow hashtag Elmer's what if to see which influencer received the box inspired by me subscribe turn on post notifications so you won't miss any videos from me also to be part of the hashtag JG squad I'll see you guys later bye